for Miss Universe Philippines 2021, Beatrice Luigi Gomez. It is mesmerizing to see you walk again on stage, on the Miss Universe Philippines stage. How do you feel right now? I know I had a different answer way back the rehearsals earlier, but right before the show started, I have only been trying to hold back my tears the whole time. I felt better um, after the swimsuit competition, but then I saw the video and I just couldn't help myself but cry <laughs> just right before going out and doing my walk again. Of course, so many memories, so many great moments. How could that not make you emotional? Today is your last day as Miss Universe Philippines. What do you want to do right after you hand over your crown? I will still definitely continue my community work. But other than that, I will pursue my other dreams. I would like to continue and go back to school, get my master's, and take up social psychology. <laughs> And hopefully after that, I will be able to build a career in hosting thanks to my family in Empire, Miss Universe Philippines, and Mercator as well. And Bea, I was one of the judges when you competed in Miss Universe 2021. Tell us more about your activities as Miss Universe Philippines. What's the most unforgettable for you? There's actually a lot, but one of the most memorable um, experiences that I had was going to Israel. It was the moment when I had to recollect all of the trainings, all of the um, lessons that I've learned after winning Miss Universe Philippines. And you know, with the pandemic, it's been quite a while that I haven't been able to travel um, outside the country and being able to experience that in Israel and meeting my sisters, Nandita, who's here in the audience, I see you, and Harnaz as well. Um, gaining a lot of friends from different parts of the world is definitely one of the most uh, memorable experience for me. Bea, how did winning Miss Universe Philippines change you? Thank you. <laughs> Bea? How did, how did winning Miss Universe Philippines change you? It changed me a whole lot. I used to be a scared little girl who was always scared to go out of my comfort zone. But then I, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, I was able to get out of my shell and face my fears and I'm so glad that I was able to do it because there's just so much um, greater things behind that fear and I'm so glad I was able to get past that. And we are all so proud of you, Bea. Thank you. Bea, Thank you so much. to summarize your journey, and this can be a little bit challenging, how can you describe your reign as Miss Universe Philippines in three words? It definitely has been a fruitful, humbling and memorable experience. Being able to stand here in this stage together with all of you, I already feel like I've won the Miss Universe crown myself. <laughs> oh, Bea, that's so cute. Do you have <laughs> any you. message to all your Miss Universe Philippines sisters, fans, supporters, family, and to the Miss Universe Philippine organization? I'm so grateful to each and every one of you who have been in my journey my Miss Universe Philippines organization, family, aces and queens, Bea Bees, um, everyone who supported me in this journey, all of the pageant fans, thank you so much to all of your support and for believing in me. I wouldn't have been able to do all of this without your help. Thank you so much. And Bea, one more question from me. After you turn over your crown, what is next for Bea? Well, I already mentioned a few earlier, but I am just so excited to welcome my coworker in continuing the advocacy that Miss Universe Philippines is promoting, and one of which is um, menstruation equity, which is also uh, promoted by my very good friend, Harnas, and also the rights of children. And definitely, I will be working with 
Miss Universe Philippines organization still. Uh, I will still be with them for the next couple of months. Once again, your Miss Universe Philippines 2021, Beatrice Luigi Gomez.